In Bhutan, happiness is one of the most important measures for them as a country. They have something called the GMH, which is Gross National Happiness, and it's more important to them than their gross national product output. Imagine if you use that as the barometer for your career success. If you made every career decision based on happiness and how happy you felt rather than the salary or some other metric that you've been judging success by. I heard once that the true definition of success is to be happy with one's lot in life and I know that that isn't our current definition of success. Success is defined by how much money we earn and how much stuff we can buy with the money that we've earned. Sometimes though we find ourselves going backwards because we earn more money to buy more stuff to impress people that we don't really like and we live a life that we think we should be living that we're not happy in because we think that that's what we're meant to be doing and to me that seems like a massive waste of a life it seems really back to front to pick a career or a next role or a promotion because it might give us a few extra pounds or dollars or uh, euros in our pocket and actually we spend so much time miserable that we don't really appreciate that money anyway. What if you chose your next role based on how happy you felt when you thought about doing that job? One of the things that I've noticed over time is that people that do this, people that use this technique to make decisions and lots of people are using this technique to make decisions outside of Bhutan that people that are using this technique to make decisions are actually becoming more successful. There's something really magnetic about happy people and there's something really captivating about people that are following their bliss. And those people seem to find success or success probably actually in reverse seems to find them. And I wonder if the rest of us have somehow got everything back to front and if we should be following their example and using the happy metric to decide on the next career move, the next career choice, and that thing that we're gonna pursue from here on in.